Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow! What? I mean, he's not a trainer. Did we fight him or something? How many different kinds of... Well... Oh yeah, the ship... That line, it always makes me feel kind of sad. The parachute's over, the ship will be departing soon. And I don't know why, it's just a kind of a melancholy line, I guess. See a trainer? Urf, I feel ill. I stepped out to get some air. I thought I could have sworn there were more trainers out here. Oh, hi there, are you- well, <laughs> here we go, you took the words right out of my mouth, and definitely wasn't while you were kissing me, because that never happened, people. <laughs> so yeah, let's hope we can have, like, a more exciting video. I'm going to, like, rev myself up now, rev myself, I'm get all revved up and nowhere to go. Well, I'm going to call this video the meatloaf video. I know we just- <laughs> I know we've only, like, got- been, like, come, like- one minute into the video and already I've made two meatloaf references so this video shall henceforth be called the meatloaf video <laughs> because so far I've been I've had the words taken right out of my mouth and I've been all revved up with nowhere to go but the, pro uh, the, the, the depressing thing is that in actual fact I'm not revved up and I have somewhere to go which is even worse so because I have more recording to do. I have so much recording to do today. Well, I was giving out about that in the last video, but it's okay, because this video will be released at least like two days after that video, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I have to record Forbidden Woods, and I'm probably recording something else after that as well, so... I don't know. Look forward to more tired videos from me. At least in that recording session of the Forbidden Woods, we get like a visit from Tingle, so... That might like perk me up a bit. All things are a bit depressing in this house, all, 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 to all things, all truth be told, anyway, because the dog is, uh, si well not sick, but the dog isn't really at its best at the moment, what, one of the dogs, the dog I like of the two we have, and, um, well that's the way we don't want to go yet, we'll go this way. Um, the dog is not at its best because he got hit by... A well, no, it got tipped by my dad when he was, like, pulling out of the driveway in the car. Um, I saw an odd ball in the trap. Well, you have to go spoil the surprise! Of course, the first one that I, like, talked to spoils the surprise. Isn't there, like, like in one of just the most well-known secrets in any video game, there is a great ball in the trash can? <laughs> <laughs> That's so memorable. I mean, how could you not remember that? Ahem. <clears throat> Indeed, I am le chef. Le main course is eels au barbecue. Les guests will mutiny, I fear. Well, I don't know. They don't have much time, because if they want to mutiny, they better get on land quickly. But yeah, this is the kitchen. There's nothing here, and I really like that. I, I love that there's nothing here, because it's just like a room they put in, because, of course, it makes sense for a ship to have a kitchen. I mean, it can't just not have a kitchen, so Game Freak just decided like, to put it in there anyway. Um, well, I guess we don't have anything else to do. Well, we can, like, go up and, like, on deck. Well, let's talk to this bozo. This ship, she is a luxury liner for trainers. At every port, we hold parachutes with invited trainers. Well, um, I got Bill's invite, so let's go in here. Let's talk to this man. In all my travels, I've never seen any Pokemon sleep like this one. Okay, Ian McKellen. It was something like this. You mean like this? Snorlax, the sleeping Pokemon. I don't know, let's ask the magic conch about that one. And here we go, oh, more trainers. Um, what was I talking about earlier? I was talking about how like, the dog got like tipped by the car, and she's all depressed now. But she's okay, she doesn't need to go to the vet or anything, she's, there's nothing wrong with her, it's just that she's in shock. There's Mr. Miura as a notice Goldie, but um... Oh well, I better switch out, I don't know. Well, oh yeah, if you don't Charmeleon through level and you didn't even notice, sorry Charmeleon, you're a bit disenfranchised, aren't you? Um, yeah, Charmeleon and Pikachu are the only Pokemon that we have that are going to be on our final team, so I'm kind of training them more than the other ones. But yeah, she's a bit in shock. Like, the dog is old, she's a small dog, and she's about like 17 years, 16 years old, so that's quite old for a dog, so um, these things, they take a lot out of her, so. And well, my brother's sick as well, my small brother, he's nine, he's an ear infection, so the house is kind of depressing at the moment, so I'm hoping he kind of perks up soon. Well, maybe I could perk it up, maybe that would be a good thing, a good view to have that true happiness in, record, in this recording session, like, perk up the entire household. Here's another goldie. Goldie, 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 goldie. Why do I do that? Why do I, do I, do I, do I like make noises? It's not just a habit I have because like, I know all that. Like, like you remember off my heart. Like I couldn't tell you what noise like because I don't really watch. I never. I kind of stopped watching the anime after um after generation two. Really, I watched for a bit in generation three, but really the one that I watched the most was um generation one. So like all the Pokemon, the first one fifty. Like you just remember exactly what they say and what their voices are like. So 
I don't know, I think, like, that's why I remember that Godin was like, Godin, 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 Godin. So, like, I don't know. And, like, Drowsy goes, Drowsy, Drowsy, Drowsy. I'm trying to your game levels all over the place. Maybe you won't find this gym leader so bad after all. Rage. Brooklyn Rage. That was the most terrible Brooklyn Rage ever. Make room for Rage. Now we might as well. Oh, no, 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 what's like, please? Okay. That was okay. That wasn't the worst thing I could have done. That wasn't the best thing I could have done, but it wasn't the worst thing I could have done either. If I'd gone over Dig, I just would have gone crazy. You can't imagine how crazy I would have gone had I deleted Dig. I, I, I probably, if I hadn't been so, like, trigger happy with the A button, then what I would have probably done is gone over Leer, but. I guess we'll have to settle with what we got. And there's Voltorb. Well, Termelian, you'll make sure. This is like foreshadowing. Oh, foreshadowing. This is fun. Because this is like a taste of what's to come. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh, nothing makes me more happy than that. The only thing that makes me more happy than that is, um, is my quillfish. Which. <laughs> Oh, this is just perfect. Oh my god, things couldn't be more perfect. That battle was just like the best battle I've ever seen in my life. My quillfish. I, I have a quillfish that I sometimes use. If I use my rain team in singles, which I rarely do because I mostly do doubles, I use a quillfish as, as the lead to use rain dance and then to get out there fast. So what I usually do is like get quillfish out there and use rain dance. And because of swift swim, it's going to be really fast. Um, and then it uses Destiny Bond and gets out of there and, and kill tries to kill the Pokemon or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's really fun. I've seen Pokemon ferry people across the water. Well, what is this? The HM Club or something? Well, oh, we're nearly coming up to a really important battle. Well, here's more battles. More, more experience fodder for Charmeleon. Which do you like? A strong or a rare Pokemon? I don't know. Well, I've been talking about that too much, but I just like Pokemon for Pokemon's sake. Like, beauty for beauty's sake. I just like Pokemon for Pokemon's sake. Like, I, I don't know. I, like, I just get Pokemon on their aesthetic, whether I like them or not. Like, to be honest, Growlithe's not the biggest fan. To be honest, sorry. Um, I just don't. I prefer Vulpix and Ninetales, even though everyone would say that Arcanine is the superior Pokemon to Ninetales. I just think, well, I don't care. Ninetales is way cooler. Oh, it's Ponytown. <laughs> Uh, see, Dig on a Charmeleon is really useful. I don't know why, but, but Dig is like a really useful move anyway in this game. Charmeleon is level 25. Well, I, I suppose I should start the training Pikachu a little bit. I'm like, Manky, you're kind of just left in dust a bit, aren't you? Let's 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 bring out Pikachu. What, no, what, what? Yeah, finally. What's wrong with me today? I'm just not myself. I'm not myself today. I never saw you at the party. Do you come with the car? Oh, you. <laughs> Do you come with the car? Oh, you. <laughs> Do you come with the car? Oh, you. <laughs> well, Charmeleon probably could have taken it, like, looked at this thing funny and it would have died, so I don't know I'm fighting it with Pikachu. At least we don't have to worry about Pikachu in Generation 1. Slam! Choke slam! I just Pikachu choke slamming a Jigglypuff. <laughs> that just be the craziest thing ever. Not that I watch wrestling or anything like that, but I used to when I was a kid. I think everyone, everyone did for a time. Like when I was like between nine and twelve, wrestling was the big thing, and everyone watched it even if they're not or didn't like it or anything. Oh, rare candy. Well, I don't know who I'm going to choose that on. Well, I suppose I could choose on Charmeleon. <laughs> oh, Charmeleon, you're fast becoming like the, the pet. Look, like look at that. Charmeleon's like level twenty-six compared to everything else. Um. Oh, we're nearly there. What was I talking about? Have you gone to the Safari Zone, Fuchsia City? It had many rare kinds of Pokemon. No, I haven't gone there yet. Me and my daddy. Don't you mean my daddy and I uh, think the Safari Zone is awesome? I think it is too. I love the Safari Zone. And it, I, it's a good thing too because I'll have to spend a lot of time there later. Oh, well, these like just yammering women. The captain looked really sick and pale. What are you gossiping about the poor Catman? I hear people get seasick. Oh my god, will you stop gossiping? Stupid women. Like Scotty... What is it? Scottamon Scotty Gaina or whatever. Well, no one's going to know what that means. Basically, that's like an Irish t a thing you can say that means like, oh, and it translates as, oh, a, a crowd of women, a crowd of geese, which means like, oh, women babbling is like the babbling of geese. Because if you've ever heard geese, they're really noisy, so like you're comparing yammering women to the, to the, I don't know, honking of geese. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's not very nice to be gossiping about the poor captain. You're my best. Why did I just go into the kitchen? You're my best friend, Captain. I would sail for miles on end for my best friend, Captain. The things you say they make me chuckle. You're my best friend, Captain Knuckles. Well, here we are. Do we have to write Pokemon in front? Yes, we do. Pikachu. Pikachu. You no, know my I, my brother. I choose you. Because there is no other... Imagine seeing you here. What? Did he just say bonjour, Ash? Bonjour, Ash. Ash, were you really invited? So how's your Pokédex coming? I already caught 40 kinds, pal. 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas. Of course you have to show up here on my boat. Ruin my boat trip. Oh, look at him. He really means business. 
Look at that hand that he's holding the Pokeball in. His fingers look really weird. Um, Gary wants to fight anyway. Let's see. I don't. As far as I know, he's not too difficult here. If you have the right kinds of Pokemon. But, um, yeah, so he shouldn't put up that much of a fight. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, I was singing that song. Um, I don't know. This one goes out to the little old lady in the front row. <laughs> oh my god, oh, I'm not talking, I'm not talking. And he's using Fury Attack and killing me. Oh my god, no! Pikachu, Pikachu, I'm t no, no, no! Oh my god, you did. <laughs> then what? Oh my, that was just, that was just so nerve wracking. Pikachu gained a level. <laughs> Gary's about to use Reddita! Well, we know what we do to Rashita around here. We use low kick. What am I? Oh my god, I don't have anything to talk about. I don't know what I would talk about. Maybe I should just start rambling incessantly or singing or something. That's what I usually do to just like fill up space. Well, that's change Pokemans. Um, yeah. It's just a Butterfree for no reason, just because this is probably one Butterfree's last hurrah. No, Butterfree's last hurrah is coming up, but not yet. And because the reason we have Butterfree is going to like, well no, there are only two reasons to have Butterfree. Well, three actually, because one, Butterfree helped me out in a lot of battles by the killing things, just like this. And two, Butterfree is on our list of Pokemon to to um, catch, and three, Busher Free is going to be uh, just um, useful because I can teach it a move that is otherwise useless. Gary is about to use Eevee! Eevee? Isn't that what Eevee said? No, something like that. Eevee! That was it. Eevee! Something like that. Yeah, it doesn't sound unlike the... Look at Eevee's eyebrow! It's like really angry. <laughs> no kick! I know, obviously Eevee wasn't practicing wax the floor or whatever. Or paint the fence. Show me paint the fence. <laughs> Cause other then he would have like been able to block that low kick. <laughs> Maybe I would like tell him Mankey, I was like, oh sweep the leg. You're good at raising your Pokemon. Well that means a lot coming from my rival. I heard there was a cut master on board, but he was just seasick old man. But cut itself is really useful. You should go see him. Smell ya. Now that we've defeated that asshole, then we have gained access to this room, which is the ship's captain's quarters. Let's look at the bin. Yuck, shouldn't have looked. That always reminds you of Earthbound. That's the kind of line that'd be in Earthbound, just something like that. Well, what am I doing? Well, here we go. I feel hideous, I'm seasick. Ash rub the captain's back. Rub rub, rub rub, rub a dub dub, project rub. Ooh, thank you. I feel much better. You want to see my cut technique? I could show you if I wasn't here. I know, you can have this. She's a dear Pokemon, and you can see it cut anytime. I just got tree fitted. Whoo! Now that I'm not sick anymore, I guess it's time to show that locked in monster what I'm made of. Yeah, well, take a nice, take a good long last look at the. Take a good look at my face. Take a good look at that. Oh, no, don't go into those rooms. Take a nice look at the SSN because, sadly, what that guy on deck said was true. <laughs> this is the last time we'll get to see it because the parachute's over. And the ship will be departing soon, and I don't know, there's always something a bit melancholy about that, I don't know, it's a bit sad. But this is probably the end of this video as well, that's what I'll do, I'll end the video with a nice, this shot. There it goes, the SSN, off to some other place to have a parachute. and leave the exact same sad aftertaste in that town when it leaves there. Well, so in this part, we finished up the SSN. I don't care how much I have to fast forward. I'm fitting all of that into one part, so... Um, I don't know what we'll do in the next part. I guess we'll go, like, through Diglett Cave. 
But anyway, this has been Pokemon Yellow with me, Rock Paper Mario. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks very much for watching.